Hi guys, today we are looking at two channel 4K mirror dashcam from Tugard. Uh, the model is called CE80B. Let's see what comes inside the box. Camera has two year warranty. This is a thank you card. And this is a mirror. It has 12 inch uh, screen, nice and big. In the back we have the 4K front dash cam. The resolution is 3840 by 2160. Uh, this means that you'll be able to clearly see the license plate numbers of other vehicles. You can adjust the angle of the front dash cam like this. And you can also slide it out this way. Uh, this can be beneficial if you install uh, this mirror in vehicles that come with a safety camera under the rear view mirror. The mirror goes on top of the OEM rear view mirror, that's why you see these hooks here. Uh, set comes with rubber straps that will secure the mirror in place. This way. Uh, also we have here the small uh, cable clips used for installation of the uh, wires and we have trim removal tool. Here we have the small reset hole. Right here I believe this is a microphone. Uh, the mirror has speech recognition function uh, and there are a number of commands programmed to be recognized by the mirror uh, which used you can use to control the mirror remotely. Uh, commands like turn on screen, turn off screen, turn on audio, turn off audio, uh, show both cameras, show front camera, show rear camera, lock the video, uh, video stop, video start. We will try these commands uh, once we install the mirror in the vehicle. This right here is the power button. Uh, you need to press and hold to turn off and on the mirror. If you press it once, it will turn off the screen, but uh, dash cams will keep recording. This way you can use the mirror as a regular OEM. On top of the device we have the USB port. Uh, this is used to connect the power cable. Here it is. Uh, the next is the rear camera port, AV. Here is uh, the rear camera. It has a full HD resolution. It has this mounting bracket, which can be secured in a couple of ways, either by using the screws or the 3M tape. Uh, you can also detach the rear camera from the wire like this. This will simplify the installation process. If you connect this red wire, to the positive wire of the reverse light, uh, you will be able to use this mirror as backup camera. The difference between regular dashcam view and the uh, reverse view is uh, the fact that when you put the car in reverse, the rear camera will automatically display the full screen view. This way you'll be able to see the ground. But in our case, uh, our vehicle already has a backup camera, so we will strictly use the rear camera as dashcam. This is the SD card slot. Uh, because front dash cam records at high resolution, you will need the high speed memory card, U3 or above. Uh, mirror supports cards up to 128 gigabytes. Uh, also, this SD card uh, doesn't come with the set, you will need to buy it yourself. And here we have the GPS port. Uh, dash cam comes with the GPS uh, module, here it is. Having GPS will allow you to display your speed on the screen. It will also record your coordinates when you drive. Uh, this way you can see where exactly you or somebody else have been driving the vehicle. You will need to download the GX player from TwoGuard website to see this information. The last thing is the manual. This is it for the unboxing part. Uh, right now we will connect the mirror in the vehicle. We'll go over the features and settings and we'll show you the actual 4K footage. Alright, so I temporarily installed uh, the mirror in this car. 
I'll show you the wires. This is our GPS. Gets temporary installed over there. This is a rear camera. There it is. And uh, this is our power. Gets connected to the cigarette lighter socket. I will do the proper installation of the wires a little bit later. As I said, I used two straps to put the new mirror on top of the original and here we have our front facing dash cam. I peeled the sticker from the glass and guess what, there is actually protective film already installed on the mirror, which is great. Let's start it up. By default we get the rear view right away. We can switch between views by swiping from right to left. Uh, now we have both images, the front one on the left and the rear on the right. Uh, right now we get the full image. This is what uh, the dash cam is actually recording. Now we get the front view. You can adjust the angle like this. And uh, also you can uh, change the brightness of the mirror. My first impression is uh, this screen is huge. And because uh, these uh, dash cams, they have wide view angle, you can see significantly more than uh, what you see through the OEM mirror. I will turn it off uh, by pressing this button. And uh, this is the view that we get with uh, the OEM type of uh, view. I'll go back again. As you can see, I can uh, like I can see that building and uh, like both left and right, I can see a lot more. One more time. This will eliminate all your uh, blind spots. Right now, I will try the voice commands. Um, we'll start with this one. Turn off screen. Okay. Nice. Turn on screen. Okay. Show both cameras. Okay. Okay. Uh, show front camera. Okay. Show rear camera. Okay. Nice. Lock the video. Okay. Okay, so right now it's uh, saving the current file, I believe. But as you can see, uh, it uh, actually works quite well. Right now I'll show you how to access saved videos. You have to swipe from left to right like this uh, here we have a few folders this is front ordinary video we have the urgent we have uh, rear urgent rear ordinary and you can actually make photos with this camera as well so I'll go to front urgent and as you can see this is the saved uh, video that we uh, saved earlier let's see how it works uh, if you want to delete this file, you have to press uh, delete button, choose the file that you don't like and uh, okay. press delete, confirm. So front ordinary videos, these are all the videos that we recorded so far, rare ordinary videos, same idea. Okay, let's see what else we have here, uh, we can stop sound recording by pressing this button we can stop video recording uh, this will lock the current file i will quickly show you guys the settings that this camera has um, the first one is a uh, resolution you can have two options 4k and uh, full hd uh, we'll leave it at 4k loop recording we have uh, uh, one minute three minutes and five minutes options uh, we can turn on and off audio recording G sensor is currently set to low and uh, parking guard uh, this camera actually if uh, it senses that somebody hit your car it will record I believe 30 second uh, files so I'll leave the sensitivity at low uh, you can put in the uh, your license plate number and this will be shown on the uh, main display I'm not gonna do it right now screensaver I'm not gonna use that 
video uh, codec that it uses is H265 um, frequency 60 Hertz you can mirror the image we don't need to do that uh, key voice off uh, speaker middle that's good boot sound we can turn this off uh, stream media you can choose the language I believe there are quite a few options right here you can change date and time you can format the SD card uh, we can uh, set default settings uh, the voice command we already tried it but this will show you all the options that uh, the camera accepts it's currently on uh, version of the uh, mirror GPS test this shows you the all the satellites that the GPS module can see right now you can change the time zone you can calibrate the speed if it's off uh, speed setting uh, this will basically give you the warning if you exceed certain limit in this case it shows 160 kilometers per hour let's go back and you can change uh, miles per hour and kilometers per hour so I believe this is it for the settings right now we'll go for a short drive and I'll show you guys how both uh, dash cams record the video
another thing I want to show you guys when I turn off uh, the vehicle in a few seconds uh, the mirror says it's going to parking basically it's going to parking mode uh, because it has built-in battery this way it can uh, provide the power in case if somebody hits your vehicle or something else happens to sum it up I think it's a great product uh, besides the digital mirror you get two dash cams that continuously record the video uh, you completely eliminate all your blind spots I'll show you again I'll turn off the digital and I'll show you what I see right now through the OEM mirror and this is what I see through the digital view uh, besides that you get the 4k front dash cam which allows you to more clearly see uh, license plate numbers and in general the quality of the front dash cam in my opinion is amazing uh, so far I'm very pleased uh, with this product so if you guys like it I will leave the link in the description and uh, we'll see you in the next video